Dyson Hoover, Dyson Hoover, what? Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ryan's Corner. Now you guys are seeing the title and you're like, what the fuck? But um, yeah, basically we got something a little bit different today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my full review of the Infinity Gauntlet, which I have right here. Hold on. Yeah, here it is, guys. My full review of the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, it should be in the description or whatever on the channel. Just search it. Just don't be lazy. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, if not, yeah, go check it out. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see the inner workings of this set and seeing how it's built and stuff. It's just a really great set. What the fuck? Did I build? I think I did something wrong in the building of this, guys. I must look into it because that's happened a few times where that finger just falls off. I feel like there's something else required there. I need, I need to look into it. But on today's episode, guys, we're going to be doing something a little different, which I've never done on this channel before. And that's, um, we're going to be reviewing... Bang, a light kit. Am I fucking information on this? No. But yeah, basically, guys, there's light kits that exist for every set, practically. And they've never really interested me before. There's been a few that I've seen that have been pretty cool. But this is the first one that kind of really grabbed my attention. I've seen one for the friend set. I think that's pretty cool. I might look into that in the future. But um, I kind of like to leave my Lego sets as is, as, you know, created by the designer. I kind of like to leave it there. I'm not really into modding and stuff like that. I kind of just like to leave it as is. But I thought this would be really cool to get the lights and basically with this set is you kind of build it and you kind of put the batteries in and it'll just kind of light up all the infinity stones and I think that might be a really cool addition to this set and this might make this set pop even more. This is the first light kit that I've seen that might actually just improve the overall look of a set which is something that really kind of got me interested. So anyway guys without further ado we're going to jump in we're going to unbox this thing and we're going to set it all up and, and see how it turns out. Hopefully this isn't a disaster. Because um, I have to actually open up this set and kind of put in the wire and stuff. So um, we'll see. Anyway, guys, without further ado, let's jump into that right now. And here it is, guys. Here's the light kit itself. Yeah, so, guys, here it is. Lighting kit and also has some information. Made in China, guys. Made in China. I didn't get this from China. I just don't know where I got this from. I got it on Amazon anyway. This this uh, cost me 18 euro, guys. So we're going to open it up. We're going to see if it's worth it or not. Must be carefully observation. What the... F I, don't, I don't care. Okay, let's open this up, guys. Where's Mr. Scissors? Thank you so much for supporting the high quality. What the... F this telling us to buy Lego. Like, this is an off-brand Lego product. And yet they're like, yeah, go buy Lego. So anyway, guys, open this up. Let's go. Fuck, let's go. I have to say, guys, I love these boxes this is actually pretty good for a kind of an off-brand product these boxes are pretty good open up guys got uh, these instructions on how to set it up and here are all the instructions guys the lights and all themselves holy shit this look this actually looks pretty good guys the actual package of this i was wasn't expecting it to look this good and this professional to be honest let's go for fuck's sake let's go open it up there we have um a better look there. I'm guessing these are the kind of stones. They have these lights and all on it. That's pretty cool. And the wire in here. That's pretty That's pretty nice. Leave it there. I'm being super careful, guys. I don't, I don't want to damage this in any way. Open this up here, guys. And take this out here. Get some more wiring and stuff there. And I'm guessing this is where the batteries go. In here. Okay, that's nice, guys. You can kind of get ones that come, like, wireless. That you kind of click. Um from a distance but i just got it was just a bit more expensive than i was willing to pay and you kind of have this one here i'm just going to turn on open up there guys and this uh set i suppose takes three double a batteries okay so let's uh put the batteries in there good i thought i got the wrong batteries there for a second yeah guys duracell only the best for my subscribers anyway guys i think i have to look up instructions on how to build this thing um or assemble it or whatever so we're going to put that together now guys and we're going to come back in a second and hopefully it's looking not shit Okay, and here we have it guys. Here's a fairly familiar sight that we seen last week there with the Infinity Gauntlet, but there's a little bit of a twist in this guys. I have the light kit completely set up here. And upon first glance guys, you would not think there's anything different about this set at all unless you went really looking for it. As you can see down here guys, we have the battery pack here and we have the wiring kind of up inside of here. I had to follow some instructions on how to do it and the instructions were really super easy to follow. I'd heavily recommend this site if you are gonna pick up some lights. And if you get into the hand itself here guys, there's literally Literally barely any wiring shown at all. The only form of wiring that I, I've come across is this little bit here. But if you're displaying it like this, guys, you, you won't see this at all. I was super impressed with how sleek the wiring is in this. And once again, guys, I was a bit worried about how these guys would click back in, but there's no issues at all. It clicks back in. I thought it would just be a little bit off the stud and that would have bothered me, but no, not at all. It's completely flush to the rest of the bricks. Another downside to me, guys, is the fact that these pieces are now black, which you can kind of see on either side here. 
um, which they were originally gold pieces. This was the original piece that was used and they've now been switched out for this black here, which I kind of understand, but it's a little bit, a little bit annoying. It's uh, It would have been cool to get these completely gold, but once again, you wouldn't really notice it unless you were looking for it. I am going to try and open this in my own time, guys, and find if I can kind of squeeze these wires in elsewhere just to kind of clean up a little bit more, but it is pretty clean in itself. It would have been cool to get a light at the base here, guys. I've seen a few light kits that do that. It would have been cool to get it here. There are definitely other light kits you can get for this gauntlet that did come with them they were just a bit more expensive but it would have been nice to get that here but overall guys it is just the infinity stones that light up no shit talk and um, we're just going to turn it on now basically you have these little one here and uh, you can kind of turn it on and there you have it guys bang holy shit this looks so good what the fuck it looks amazing guys wow i just didn't expect to like it quite as much as i do guys it looks good in the camera but in person it looks even better i'm going to turn off the lights guys real quick and i'm going to see what it looks like with the lights off so there it is guys all lit up there with my main light off i still have the ring light going on here and that's what it looks like in this kind of darkness i just decreased the, the brightness there of my ring light a little bit that's the lowest it'll go down there and looks still looks amazing and this is what it looks like with all the lights off my room at all the only light that's on now is the infinity gauntlet and it's just so bright i didn't expect it to look like this wow it is so good back there guys with the lights there now and I am actually blown away by how good and how bright that looks like in the dark. I wasn't expecting it to be quite as strong as that. And if you did want to use this little battery pack, guys, it also comes with a little USB here, guys, which you can kind of plug in there and you can kind of plug it into a wall or a socket if you have, or a power bank as well. That's that a lot of people using. The only reason I, I'm going to use the battery pack is because I want to display it on a shelf that's absolutely nowhere near a socket. So that's what I'm going to use the batteries for. But overall, guys, wow i'm absolutely blown away by this product i didn't expect it to look like this i was buying it and i was like this is 18 euro is it really worth it and i'm so happy i picked it up holy shit you guys overall though 18 euro is probably still a bit of a stretch for this it would have been cool for this to be like 10 euro to 15 euro and that probably would have been the sweet spot but i'm so happy i picked this guy up guys and this is the first time i've ever seen lights that would really really enhance this set and i just think that my infinity gauntlet review i gave this guy an 8 out of 10 it is now a 9 or even a 10 out of 10 now this has just brought it to that next level just the lights alone just make it look so good so yeah guys i'm really happy with how this turned out i'm absolutely in love with this gauntlet now bang and there you have it guys there's the last look at the light kit there i brought the camera a little bit closer i kind of see it a bit better but holy shit this guy looks amazing i'm so happy i picked it up let me know in the comments below what you guys think if you'd pick this up let me know if you see any other um light kits that you might think would look good on some of my other sets that i have i'm thinking about getting some lights for my friend's apartment set and i could do a review on that let me know if that's something you'd like to see yeah guys thank you so much for tuning into this episode of ryan's corner and um, i know this wasn't a proper kind of wednesday video i just thought it'd be pretty cool um, I should have a proper video up at the weekend. So deadly guys, keep doing what you're doing, like and subscribe and all that shit. And until next time guys, I'll see you soon and stay safe out there.